Hi everyone, Richard Carlton here. I am doing a live interview with Kevin Miller from Live Code. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Richard. Great to be here. Now, Kevin, you folks are headquartered in the UK, correct? We are indeed, Edinburgh, Scotland. Yeah, it's our evening over here right now. I think it's morning where you are. So I talked to Kevin periodically about some neat things that Live Code is doing, and they are coming out with a really interesting product and you're trying to get funding for this but from what i'm looking at the website here it looks like we're talking about some sort of converter from a filemaker solution to an android app can you tell us more about this absolutely so this is um a project that we've prototyped and we are doing a fundraising campaign to see if there's a sufficient market demand to take it through to a finished product what it does is it lets you take your existing filemaker app you've maybe carefully designed a layout for iOS and import it into LiveCode and then run that as, as a native app. And of, and of course, LiveCode supports Android as an operating system. So you're able to take your existing FileMaker app um, and, and essentially get that running on Android. Uh, and the apps that it creates are fully native. So you have full access to all of the device capabilities. Um, so you can go out to the camera or you can take information from the accelerometer. Uh, and, and that's the same on iOS as well. So if you want to deploy your, your app natively, you can also do that. Uh, onto iOS. This is very cool. So LiveCode uh, is a tool for building app and it's, it's very like FileMaker in the sense that you, you drag drop out user interface elements that you need, um, but you've got access to a full set of, of objects and, and you can customize it in a way to create rich native experiences that you maybe wouldn't do uh, as easily in FileMaker. And then we have this scripting language that puts it all together. That language is kind of, if you compare that to other programming languages, LiveCode is like a really easy to use programming language. And uh, it, it sort of goes quite well because FileMaker, of course, is a really easy to use way of creating data-driven apps. And like you said, there isn't a database backend built into LiveCode. So the idea is to put these two things together and you get this really powerful ability to build these really flexible apps. So the next question would be that you're offering or you're proposing to build a product in LiveCode or a feature in, in LiveCode that allows you to take a FileMaker file that's already built and right. to convert that into code that we could compile and submit to the Google Marketplace, right? Right, absolutely, yeah. So you, be, you can take your, your FileMaker layout, you, you press a button, you import it into to live code, maybe you have to tweak it a little bit if it's a simple layout, but you don't have to make any changes. And then you press a button and you, you deploy it to Android, and then you can simply put that either directly onto your devices or into the, the Google Play Store. The way that we've architectured this is that the data stays in FileMaker. So, you know, you've got your FileMaker server or your FileMaker cloud set up, then this app will simply go and connect back to FileMaker server or FileMaker cloud. And so if you've got apps that have been deployed on iOS uh, that are maybe deployed through FileMaker Go or through the FileMaker um, iOS SDK, then those apps are gonna be able to work from the same data as all of your Android users. The two of them are gonna be able to work alongside just fine. So this basically compiles, it takes a layout from FileMaker and it compiles and builds a client for Android that connects to your FileMaker server. That's correct, it does indeed, yes. Wow, that is super powerful. Now, explain to us real quick, you're trying to raise funds or try to establish uh, the, the interest of the market for this, right? So what does that look like? We are indeed, yeah. We've spoken to a number of companies. We were recently on, uh, the West Coast tour, I went down and, and toured all of the, the FileMaker user groups, and there seems to be quite a bit of interest in this. But we want to make sure that the market's there. I mean, this is a, a massive um, engineering project. We've we've done a prototype. We've worked out what we would need to do to get it finished. Uh, and if we were doing this as a, as a service project, you know, we, we'd look for some sort of deposit on it. And this is kind of a way of spreading that across, you know, the FileMaker community. And it's also a way for us to validate that we can reach enough FileMaker users and that the demand really is there. And, and we think it is. Uh, but we want to be, be sure of that before we commit to doing something quite as big as this. Well, and what's interesting about this, for those of you who don't, haven't heard this before, people always say, well, when is FileMaker going to make a copy of FileMaker Go work for Android? And the answer is pretty much never. Uh, there was a meeting or a webinar in the last couple of weeks where FileMaker basically said that's not a direction they're going. And for those of you who understand basics of politics, Google and Apple, right, and FileMaker is basically Apple, in so much as it's part of the owned right. by Apple, right? right? They have no interest in really directly supporting or promoting Android. So, you know, FileMaker is kind of stuck 
not doing this, but it doesn't mean that other third parties can't build a client that works on Android. And so this would solve a problem that I actually hear it comes up weekly, if not every couple of days. Hey, when it, where's the Android connectivity? Right. We hear these stories of companies that have maybe got a bring your own device policy and they've got their Farmaker app that's deployed and they've got, you know, 100 people in the field and they're all fine if they're on iOS, but if they're on Android, then um, they're, they're kind of stuck or they're kind of limited to using um, WebDirect. Of course, the issue with WebDirect is that it doesn't work very well offline. Well, it doesn't work out offline at all, right? I mean, WebDirect is a live client, right? It doesn't take advantage of really any of the mobile device special features. And you mentioned those early on in this conversation, but specifically mm -hmm. like signature capture and accelerometer and all these other things that go into a mobile device that make it really cool, right? Right. WebDirect doesn't connect to those things. Absolutely. So, I mean, with this tool, you'll have access to the full operating system. So you could incorporate native objects. You can go out and call OS APIs. You could pull data out of, you know, HealthKit on iOS or from the camera or have the user authenticate using a fingerprint sensor or, you know, whatever it is that you need to do. You can make a really rich experience. Uh, and the beauty is that you can just bolt those little pieces of functionality on on top of your FileMaker solution. So you may have built a really beautiful FileMaker solution that's got all your data working absolutely perfectly and you've got dozens of layouts and you're, you're ready to go on that. You just want to add that one feature to do, you know, authentication or to do, you know, one other thing. Well, you can just plug that in, you add that on top of this after importing it into live code and you're good to go. Wow, this is huge. So if we want to support this, you know, and this video is being recorded here in the early part of November, how do we support you? Where do we go to support you? Okay, so if you go over to filemaker.livecode.com, the page that's got all the information on it is just forward slash native. There's a link there from the front door. And um, we have a, a funding page where you can pledge to support the project. And we're also doing a live webinar. Um, the first one is happening on the 9th of November. at uh, It's uh, 9 a.m. Pacific or 5 p.m. GMT. And if you're watching this recording after that date, then we will have posted the recording to that webinar. Uh, and there may be upcoming webinars. So if you go onto our site and have a look. Well, uh, I can tell you that my company is going to be dropping uh, $1,000 in on your funding campaign. Uh, there's a awesome. number of different funding levels. And the trick is, is that I think if you can build this, this would be really a tremendous asset. I did ask FileMaker about it. And, you know, it's kind of one of those things. It's a hypothetical product for them. And, and so at, at this point, they don't have anything official to say about it except that they are not going to be building an Android app. So if we want a native Android app, this seems like the only way we're going to get it. And of course, once again, you know, it's the politics between Apple and Google. But Live Code, for those of you who are not familiar, you know, I've built apps outside of FileMaker with Live Code. We have deployed them to the uh, iOS store and to the Android store. So I've used their product. I've used it historically. And the, the products we were using, we actually would listen to the microphone and, and take action based upon uh, sounds that would come through the microphone. And so it could provide some interactivity like that. So we actually had to have the connectivity to the microphone and to be able to get that on Android, for example, or these types of right. connectivity, uh, you're gonna need a native application. WebDirect's not gonna get there. And so while I think there's value in WebDirect, clearly it's not a native application. You know, it's kind sure. of a generic web uh, interface. So I wanna say that I believe in live code. RCC, my company, has worked with it successfully. And I can definitely endorse that. And you know, throwing a couple bucks behind the funding here to help encourage these folks to go forward, uh, I would recommend it. If you want to see Android support FileMaker directly with a native app, definitely go to the registration page that you see right here on screen, and definitely feel free to uh, kick in on that. Once again, if you're watching the video after uh, middle or end of November, feel free to visit this site here. But we'll also put a link below to find the recording of the live demo, so you can see this in action. So Kevin, Great, yeah. awesome, awesome. Any final uh, comments? I think it's just worth pointing out, we kind of touched on it, but just to be really clear, the, the native app that we're building will have a sync engine built in. So if your, your app goes offline, I mean, users these days, they really expect that the app will just work as much as it possibly can. So we'll be caching data locally, all behind the scenes. You won't really have to know a great deal about what it's doing. Um, and then whenever it gets a connection, it will just go ahead and do that syncing to your, your FileMaker data. So you'll, you'll get a really good experience. Your users will really uh, love working with these apps. Yeah, that's actually tremendously uh, interesting, to be honest with you. I, it's not just an offline uh, native app. I mean, that itself, as far as I'm concerned, would be good enough for the investment. But to actually have it offline, capture the data, and then when it can reconnect to FileMaker, it pushes that information back. 
that's impressive. That truly is impressive. So, well, excellent. Well, Kevin Miller from Live Code, we appreciate you taking the time. And once again, visit their website, filemaker.livecode.com for more information about this effort. Fabulous. Thanks very much for having me on, Richard. Thanks, Kevin.